You're watching Cars.TV. My name is Henrik Fisker. I am the CEO of Fisker Inc. And we are at the LA Auto Show where we are presenting the Fisker Ocean. The short version is that, you know, I've always been designing, you know, $100,000 sports cars, supercars from Aston Martin to BMW, etc., and the Fisker Karma, of course. So I, I really wanted to design a vehicle that was obtainable for everyone. So we kind of set us the goal of having a starting price of $37,499 before any incentives. It was a tough task, and also the fact that I kind of wanted to merge a sports car with an SUV. So you can see it has a lot of sculptural shapes, this vehicle. But it's still an SUV, it still has a usability. So that was the biggest challenge I put myself up against. The last part was we wanted to make the world's most sustainable vehicle. So we had to go out and find a lot of recyclable materials, etc., to put into this vehicle and eventually also made a deal with Magna to actually produce this vehicle in a CO2 neutral factory. So the story was really that we kind of want to put this program together and it had a lot of challenges, but we're here today representing the car. We are on the target with price. We actually have a longer range than we originally thought we could have. So it's, it's been, a, I think so far, a, a pretty great show for us. Reservations number is going up as we showed it, and I think we're close to about 20,000 reservations now. We we'll start deliveries in November next year, but we'll actually start producing two cars a day in the March next year. So we are fully on schedule, and that's obviously something that's important to be on schedule on time. But I think the feedback has been amazing. People also love the, the solar roof that we have on the top model, which can give you about up to 1,500 free miles a year, depending on the weather. But you know, those are all things that we wanted to kind of add into this new vehicle to make it different, to stand out for the crowd and give you a reason to choose a Fisker Ocean over another vehicle. So the drive is amazing in this car. And the two tough vehicles, the $49,000 and the $68,000, we actually have, of course, four wheel drive, but we also have torque vectoring. So that actually means you feel like a Formula One driver when you drive it. You, you can handle unbelievably well the vehicle. In fact, I would say when I drove it on the test track, it almost felt like I defied physics. And it's extremely good for snow, ice, and wet roads as well. So that's pretty unique in this price range to have torque vectoring. That's something you normally have in super expensive vehicles. We also have silicon carbide inverters with very efficiency. Zero to 60 in the top version is 3.6 seconds. In the Ultra, which is the middle version for 49,000, is 3.9 seconds. I also think that's definitely a class leading. So it drives like a sports car, but has a utility of an SUV. I think for a few years ago, there was very little interest from Wall Street. There was, of course, some enthusiastic consumers, but they were a very small group of people. And then there were some predictions, oh, it's gonna take off, it's gonna take off, it never really took off. But I think in the last 12 months, it's kind of gone crazy. And I think part of the reason is that you have seen governments around the world putting very tough, not only emission rules, but also, for example, you won't be able to buy a gasoline or diesel car in some countries. So that puts pressure on everything. Then secondly, you see Wall Street really have been willing to finance this new revolution that's happening in EV space with new EV startups coming out to the market. And I honestly think 50% of all vehicles sold in 2030 will be sold by new EV startups. That obviously is why we can get a lot of money because that's a huge market potential in the trillions of dollars. And I think if you have the right product and you can entice the customer, you can actually grab a huge amount of market share in this unusual market because Yes, there is a lot of electric cars coming to the market, but not all of them are that great. A lot of them are pretty average. And I think we have a really great product for a great price. And I think we have a chance to take quite a big market share with this vehicle. And we are selling it, you know, we are launching it both in Europe and the US at the same time.